Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to make another fantastic Persian food called Khoreshi Karafs, which is celery stew. And as you might notice, all of our Persian stew has been eaten by rice. And uh, I do have a link below to show how to make the rice uh, because I'm not gonna go over that today. But we are going to over the ingredients with you and show you how to make that. Okay, to making a celery stew, we need some celery, we need beef, we need some spices. So what I have here is about one and a half a pound uh, lamb meat, which is uh, and cut it to the stew size. You don't have to use lamb. If you like, you can use the beef. And also we have uh, celery, which is about two big bunch of celery, which I cut it about one and a half half to two inches and also I have one here that I'm going to use these leaves also going to chop them and use uh, also saute with the celery uh, we need about one cup of dry uh, parsley three quarter of a cup dry mint one and a half teaspoon black pepper and one fourth of teaspoon of a chili pepper you don't have to use that if you don't want it i like it one and a half a teaspoon uh, turmeric one and a half salt and also this is about your taste if you want to make it more or less it's up to you some cooking oil one big onion which i already chopped that for sauteing with the meat and one full size uh, of the pepper, green pepper, which is serrano pepper, about one to one and a half lime juice. We, we're gonna need it. So first we, we are going to saute the onion and add the meat and the rest of the ingredients. Let's go and do that. First we're gonna saute the onion I already put like a three four a tablespoon oil on this pot and when it gets hot we're gonna drop this onion and let it cook and saute till it, the color change to brown and golden then we're gonna add the meat and some of the spices and at the same time I have another pan here which I'm waiting uh, to get hot and then uh, we're gonna saute the celery uh, at the same time then when is the time we have to add the celery to the meat also I think we get in there that we need to add the meat to the onion and so the color is changing a little bit and getting loose and a little bit toward the golden it's a time to add the meat It's, a, it's not a bad idea to add the, some of the bone, especially lamb shank with the bone into this stew. And that makes it 10 times better taste. Uh, which I usually do that, but couldn't find it. I didn't, didn't have it uh, this time uh, in my fridge. Okay, after five, six minutes that saute the meat is the time to add the turmeric and pepper and we add the salt uh, later on when the meat is already I mean almost done then we add the salt not right now 
Okay, a few minutes you have to turn and saute with the turmeric and pepper. Then is the time to add the uh, fresh chopped leaves and dry uh, mint and parsley. Okay, we are going to add this uh, chopped leaves of celery. Then a few minutes later, we're going to add the, our dry ingredients. First, we add the dry parsley and saute a little bit. Already looks great. So, a few more minutes later, we're gonna add the mint and then we add the water. And always use the hot water. The time for men. Out, as you see, it's dry because the mint gets all the juice and and the fat to itself. It's a time to add the hot water to it. And I, I can say about like a, a half a gallon. There you go. And let it cook about maybe half an hour or so as uh, it cooks I guess our uh, celery is ready then we add the celery to it and that's it then we're gonna have a celery stew these are almost done and I turn this off because it's already turned the colors and good enough so I don't have to saute any longer. As soon as it starts boiling, we're gonna add the pepper, which you don't have to, and but you add the celery. And let it cook about hour, hour 15 minutes. Then we check on that one. If it's almost done or is done, then we add the last ingredients, which is gonna be lime juice and a salt. And if you like, you can add a little bit of saffron too. That's it, easy. Okay, it's been about one hour and 15 minutes and I check on the meat. It's almost done. So we need another maybe 15 to 20 more minutes. So that's the time to add the salt and lime juice. And wait another, as I said, 15 to 20 minutes and we are done. The food is going to be served. See, our food is almost done and is going to be ready in a few minutes. So at this time, I like to add a little bit of saffron, which is, you know, this is a ground saffron and mix it with the water. It's not something that it makes your stew and is not necessary. But if you can, it makes a huge difference on the taste and aroma. So I'm going to add some to this and the rest of them I add to my rice. OK. 
Okay, we're almost there. Few more minutes, we're gonna serve the food. Okay guys, our food is done and ready. Our celery stew, it's turned to be perfect and wonderful. The taste gonna be delicious. And I hope you enjoy watching my uh, video. And don't forget subscribe. And I thank you so much. See you next time.